So hello everyone my name is Ravindra I welcome you to this series learn with me microsoft power bi in this video we will learn about what are the important settings that we have to do in microsoft power bi before using it so let's we see so this is our uh, current interface if you see simply we will go to the file option in the file option we have options and settings simply we click on this then we will go to the options in the options new pop up will display here okay so this type of pop up will display here okay so there are two types of setting first one is global and second one is for current file that we are using okay so in the global settings we have to first do never detect column type and headers for unstructured data source okay so let's we do this and select this okay so by using this whenever we upload unstructured data in that case we can be manually do this step okay how to do this we will also see in the upcoming videos okay then other things we will kept as it is we will not interact with anything then we have a uh, preview features okay so in the preview features or preview feature are those feature microsoft are trying to release in the future and some on the basis of customer feedbacks okay so now in the preview features we have to just turn on on object interaction just click on this uh, checkbox and turn on and and then for the current file we will go to the regional settings in the regional setting we simply just click on our local time zone we will select okay in this case my is english india so i just selected english india okay and you have to select according to you then these all the settings we have to perform in our power bi report okay ha and just click on the okay so after that it will relaunch our microsoft power bi report okay in my case i have done already so it not relaunch okay but in your case it will relaunch then um, in when we connect our data source okay uh, to our power bi report okay then this transform data option is show here so simply in, when ever you are using this power query editor okay so uh, we gone in the power query editor if you see so in the power query editor you have to go to the view section in the view section there is one formula bar here are query settings okay so we have to select this column distribution column profile show white spaces and also column quantity quality sorry column quality we have to just check this check box okay by using that you can be see this type of uh, front end interface here okay like this so by simply uh, seeing this you can be visualize more correctly and you can be perform some of the operations okay so in future uh, videos we also see how to uh, create uh, this type of uh, uh, clean our data source okay by performing some of the operations and also like if i go to the home and just click on close and apply so our power query editor will stop and uh, we also we are creating this type of uh, visuals in the power query power bi in the, our upcoming videos that's all about friends for today uh, uh, keep learning keep growing and keep exploring the new things and if you have any question or any doubt you can be asked and provide in the comment box thank you friends have a nice day